In this video, we explain how to use the external sidechain feature with native UAD plugins in Logic. External sidechaining allows one track to control a plugin loaded on another track. External sidechain compression is one of the most common uses. Standard compression works by applying gain reduction to the signal based on the dynamic changes of the audio from the same track, while external sidechain compression allows the use of a different audio signal to trigger the compression instead. For example, using a kick drum to trigger compression on a synth pad or bass in an EDM track to create a pumping effect, or using a vocal track to trigger compression on a reverb bus to reduce muddiness. All native UAD plugins are installed and authorized via UA Connect. If this is your first time using native UAD plugins, please see our tutorial How to Get Started with UA Connect and Native UAD Plugins for Mac and Windows. First, you need to insert a native UAD plugin that features external sidechaining on the track you want to compress. In the Mix window, insert the desired external sidechain plugin on the track to be processed. In this example, we use the API 2500 bus compressor. After the plugin loads, activate sidechaining by clicking the external sidechain switch at the top of the plugin. Now, you need to specify the source that will be used as the external sidechain signal. Click the Sidechain drop-down menu at the top right of the plugin and choose a source from the list. For example, to create a pumping effect on a synth track, you would load the external sidechain compressor plugin onto the synth track and choose the kick track as the external sidechain source. The specified source track can now be used to trigger the compression. Adjust the settings of the plugin to get the desired effect. To swap back to using the plugin without external sidechaining, simply click the external sidechain switch at the top of the plugin to disable the feature. For more information about native UAD plugins or external sidechaining, please visit our knowledge base at help.uaudio.com.